Hey guys, so today I have a new book from you that I got from the library. It's called Feed the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. This is a new Feed the Cat book. Um, but first, let me show you my rabbit. There's Potter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get out of the way, Potter. Oh no, she's in the way. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Potter. Oh, she's gonna keep bugging us. Potter, you need to get down. Hang on. Say bye, Potter. Alright. Pete with his cupcakes. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had ten when they were done. Oh no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus didn't know what to do. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. What do you see there? What kind of animal do you think would leave those sort of tracks? Hmm. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Oh, Potter. Oh. And she knocked over the camera. It's a very naughty rabbit. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Whoever it was needed a ladder to get up. Hmm. Turtle said, it wasn't me, it couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. You see somebody in the window there? Taking more cupcakes? Who is it? What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. Looks like they left a trail. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus had solved the case. I'm so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. <laughs> Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. 
This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That what that's what friends would do. That's nice of them. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. That, or the night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. The end. That was a fun one, huh? Say bye, Potter. Oh, she just wants to sniff the camera. Say bye, Potter. Bye, guys. See you soon.